Coach, your group was really good at times last season, coming out in the second half and, and putting games away here in this building. I know it's just preseason, but but how important is it to establish that habit early and have that carry into the regular season? Oh, it's a big time. It's big time for us to do that. You know, we, you know, we let our foot off the gas in that second quarter, and then they challenge themselves in the locker room to to come out and do better. And ultimately, you saw that. You know, sixteen point third quarter. Uh, we were moving it, we were sharing it, we were guarding uh, the same way we did in that first quarter. And that's what, you know, what was, I was most proud of for this group. Not just tonight, but in addition to tonight, the entire preseason training camp, what has stood out to you about Paolo in his third year now? I think he's just got a level of poise about him. Um, he's really just stepping into you know, how great he can become. Um, he's leading out there. His voice has been solid throughout camp. Uh, and just his... his, his his focus level of, you know, wanting to allow guys to just follow him and what he's trying to do. When it comes to Jet, what have you liked or what has impressed you just about his growth and maturity from last year to this year, especially with tonight's game? His defense. I think he really has, has, has worked his tail off to sit down and guard. Uh, you know, he does a lot of individual work with Coach Tay Carter. And they're just, he's pushing them just to continue to get better, knowing when and where to take shots on the floor. Uh, understanding the defensive coverages. You know, you see guards pick and roll. He's getting over screens, understanding where guys are, being in the right position. I mean, he's just done a great job, and he's worked tirelessly at it. And, uh, you know, that's just been a, a credit to him as, as well as our coaches and what they're doing with him. Jamal, I think the final total was 32 assists on 42 made field goals mm -hmm. tonight. How did you like the ball movement? Obviously, I know that some of the looks that you get is kind of a, a byproduct of that. So just... Um, what did you like about the ball movement tonight? Well, you know, like we talked the other day, you know, talking about what were the, you know, the specific areas of focus for, for camp. And what I liked the most was the spacing, the ability to get for guys to get to their spots um, and us finding it at the right time, not trying to over dribble, uh, but just making the easy, simple play, taking what the defense gives, give, gives you. And I think our guys did a great job of that. Now there's going to be some, obviously, we're going to have to clean up. Because uh, that's still, you know, still 17 turnovers for 25 points. But our ability to share the basketball willingly was pretty dang good. About it, um, early in the second quarter, the the team was able to to build a little bit of a lead. They mm -hmm. they hit some hit some shots, obviously, which helps. But what kind of impact has Anthony Black and his growth as as a as kind of the leader, as the point guard of, of that group done to help boost that boost that team and boost him? Well, you guys talked about it the other day. You know, the, the common theme over camp is like how good Anthony Black has been. And he's been fantastic throughout camp. Um, and he is – he's focused. He's worked his tail off. You saw he's been in this gym all summer uh, just – working on using his voice to be able to lead and control the court and be a table setter in these situations. So just proud of the way in which he's continued to work, the, the way the guys, you know, kind of band around him. And he's just done a fantastic job. Coach, a lot of good things come out of this game, some other preseason games earlier. Just what are some things, though, that, that you want to, you know, clean up as you head into the regular season here next week? Well, it's always going to be turnovers. Uh, I think that's the one piece. I think not letting our foot off the gas when you have an opportunity uh, to finish teams and do certain play, the, continue to play the right way. And we'll go back and look at it. There was a couple of spacing clips we have to clean up the turnovers and why they happen. And then obviously you saw Drummond had you know 50, 20 rebounds. Uh, so our ability to keep teams off the glass is going to be very important as we move forward. You talked about the ball moving around the perimeter very well. What did you just make of Jalen's poise running the offense and kind of getting everyone set up tonight? I think we've talked about that a ton during training camp. And I mean, it's, you know, it's been documented that how he and I have communicated with each other, the things that, he, you know, we're asking of him to do. And, and he, he did that, you know, our communication on the sideline, you know, he's the, he's the coach out there in a lot of ways that we we're on the same page and his ability to get guys involved, knowing when to make the right play at the right time, seeing who hasn't touched the ball in a while. Um, but then again, you see what he's able to do defensively. I think that's the other side that, you know, we're missing out on and between him and Kenny uh, as the front line of defense is, is pretty tough. You mentioned it a little bit there, there, but the team challenging themselves to, to come out of the, come out of the mm -hmm. locker room into halftime. How, what does it say about this team that they're able to kind of dial up the defense the way that they are, that they have that much confidence in an area that, that young teams typically struggle with, that, that they've made it their identity at this point? I mean, they know that's how they're going to get on the floor. 
That's how we have to play. That's from night in and night out. We're going to compete. You're going to be guarded at a high level. Uh, and we're going to take on that challenge. I think they just got tired of beating each other up all through practice, uh, throughout the, not having the game. And, you know, you finally get an opportunity to play against somebody else. And I think that's what you saw from, you know, the first quarter and then into that third quarter. Kenny may not have had the most counting stats when you look at the stat sheet, but when you kind of look at his impact on the floor tonight, what did you take away from his performance, this being his second preseason game? I think there was a poise about him. I tried to get him back in at the four minute mark, but there was no there was no stoppage of play. Um, but he he spaces the floor the right way. He runs to the right spot. And sometimes we don't value a guy just being at the right sp right spot at the right time. Uh, finding him in transition, just running all the way to the corner so it stretches the defense out. Those little things go a long way, uh, especially with our guys who are able to attack and get downhill. Now they have to, you know, the defense has to come in and now you can just spray it out. So those little small pieces are things that he, he adds value in without even having to say much or do much. Thank you, Coach Moses. Thank you. Appreciate it. Paolo, your group was so good last season at you know coming out of halftime and, and really pulling away from teams, especially in this building. I, I know it's just preseason, but how important is it to to get into that habit as as you go into the regular season campaign? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, coach challenged us at halftime. Uh, we gave up, I think, thirty five points in the second quarter, so he let us know about that, and uh, you know, we wanted to come out and put together a good defensive effort in the third. And start start fast, and I think they only scored, uh, I think sixteen in the third. So yeah. Jet, you obviously you got the start in San Antonio, but to to come out and hit three straight threes like that, I mean, just obviously we talked about your defense, but how gratifying is it to see those shots fall at home and, and get this this action? Uh, it's always good to uh, hit your first shot, and then after you hit your second shot, I just feel like you're on a heater from there. So uh, you know, just making sure. Uh, you know, second half, next time I make my shots and I stay in my shots. Yeah. Paolo, um, just the way, that, the way that you played throughout the course of the preseason, you know, do you feel like you have more poise and more composure? And, and where do you think that that's, that's come from now as you're, as you're preparing to start the regular season? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, it just comes with experience. Um, you know, you can't really, you can't really explain it. I think it's just a certain uh, level of com comfortability. Is that a word? Uh, kind of. Um, but comfort, I guess. Uh, yeah. So after my second year, I think, especially playing in the playoffs, I think um, it just showed me a, um, <clears throat> a different way that I can, you know, be effective. Uh, and so I think I've, you know, combining my first two seasons um, and just looking back, watching so much tape over the summer, um, you know, I felt like I played a lot uh, on the ball my first two years. And I think I learned that, you know, if I'm able to mix up playing on and off the ball and screening and, you know, flashing and posting up and, and just trying to, you know, not just give the defense one dose of something and just trying to mix it up and uh, pick my spots and be a little more strategic with my approach, um, it makes the game a little easier. So. I think I'm just trying to get better at that, but I think you know you're not able to do that without the experience. So I would say just you know those first two years I learned a lot and uh, you know trying to come in with an improved mindset into my third season. Paolo, you guys uh, in the first unit, you guys got Kenny and Dell back tonight in the starting unit. You guys got out to a fast start. What did you like about the way that you guys performed in that first quarter and then coming back out of the half? Yeah, I think the ball was popping, the ball was moving, and uh, you know. We had a, we got a lot of clean shots as a team, you know. I think our process was good on on offense, and um, yeah, I think everyone you know was getting involved and you know sharing the sugar. So uh, it was a, it was a good effort. Hello, and Jet. <clears throat> Question for both of you. So, how do you feel to play in front of the home crowd for the first time this season, especially with such a big win? Uh, I'll say it's great. You know, uh, it was a good turnout tonight. So. You know, every, every time y'all can come and show and support us. Um, and it's obviously getting bigger because, you know, uh, last year they went, we went on that deep run. So um, the more y'all come out, the more, you know, we feel the energy. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, I think 
I drove in, and uh, I, first thing I said when I walked in the building was, you know, I saw a lot of fans outside, you know, for it to be a preseason game. So I uh, just really appreciate the fans always showing out, and uh, it's going to be a great year. So, you know, I hope they're ready to bring the energy and, uh, you know, support us. Jed, you talked about knocking down the three ball, but prior to you guys coming in, Coach mostly was praising your defense. You've been in the gym consistently day in and day out this summer. Just what have you worked on specifically defensively to improve on that side of the ball? And what did you like about your performance defensively tonight? Oh, damn, that's, a great, that's a great question. Uh, to sum it all up, I'll just say, you know, just working on closeouts, uh, working on, you know, getting through screens, getting over, um, learning the system. Um, different angles you could take, uh, playing to uh, players' weaknesses and strengths, and um, honestly, just making my mental right on the defensive end uh, to match up with my offensive end. And, uh, you know, just catching up with the rest of the group. Um, I feel like that's what motivated me the most. And tonight, I would say my energy um, definitely could have still been better. Um, but, you know, it's a work in progress. And, you know, I'm still in the gym nonstop. Paulo, um, we've seen through social media and the media the, the workouts you've been doing out in Seattle. Um, a lot of statements you said, bold statements you said about the magic, and it definitely sees from the work that you, you already started talking about. You're, you're ready to take things to the next level personally and um, with the team. Can you talk a little bit about that, taking things to the next level with the magic? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Um, you know, I think. Just like I said, every single year since I first got here, it's just been, you know, how can I help, you know, this <clears throat> franchise improve? Um, and I just, you know, have felt that gradual improvement. I think we've all felt it, you know, everybody here. And so when you when you feel that improvement year in and year out, it um, it just motivates you to come back to the next season even, even better and stronger. And uh, I'm confident in the work I put in. I know these guys. Um, put in a lot of work as well. You know, this guy right here, him and AB, was in Orlando the whole summer. And so when you know you got guys, no matter where they're at, you know, Orlando, Seattle, you know, Germany, wherever guys are at, um, you know they're working their ass off. So it just gives you a sense of confidence knowing that, you know, not only am I putting in, you know, a ton of work, but so are my teammates. So, um, yeah, I just have uh, uh, ultimate confidence in our group. And uh, I know that, you know, we got a lot more that we can accomplish, you know, and nobody is – um, nobody's satisfied with, you know, what we did last year or, you know, um, that success we experienced. I think everyone is hungry for more. Jed, um, you were on the floor a lot with A.B. Fed you, fed you a couple of those, those passes for threes. You got, you got a couple passes to him. How have you seen him grow as, as a leader and, and as, as someone who, you know, handles the duties of, of being a point guard for that group? You know, just knowing A.B., you know, he's just always stepping up to the challenge ever since, like, his rookie year, uh, thrown into the fire early in Utah. And, you know, as soon as he got on the court, he impacted. So, you know, he has the utmost confidence. Uh, you know, I've seen it every day this summer, working with him and getting chemistry with him. And, uh, you know, he's been great all training camp. Like, everyone's praising him. And, you know, it's much deserved. I'll tell you that. I wish y'all could see it. Um, just vocally um, commanding the offense getting everybody in the right spots, making the right reads pretty much 95% of the time. Uh, every shot that I'm pretty much getting in the preseason, <laughs> this guy, every shot I'm pretty much getting in the preseason um, has been from him or, or this guy to my right. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's a great point guard. And, you know, I got ultimate trust in him.